Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news that the mad scramble for yield around the world is behind our rising exchange rate. Since the RBNZ hold decision on Wednesday, we've seen a sharp rise in our currency, and it starts the day with a TWI at 78.8, close to its all-time high. Investors like our interest rates, especially as nearly everywhere else is zero, or with a strong threat of reducing. Nothing shows that like in Europe. There is a widespread market acceptance that the ECB will be cutting rates next Friday, our time, when it meets in Slovakia. Overnight, amazingly, both Spanish and Italian bonds were sold easily and at declining yields. Investors are chasing yield despite the sovereign risks. The New Zealand dollar rose against the euro, opening this morning at 65.5 euro cents, less than one cent below its all-time high. Staying in Europe, the British economy surprised many by avoiding a triple-dip recession in Q1 and posted growth above most observers' expectations. Meanwhile, Spain reported unemployment even higher than markets were expecting. It's now 27.2% of its workforce. In Japan, the flood of money leaving there following their massive QE isn't happening to the extent expected. Japanese companies are repatriating funds at an impressive rate. But there's still a net outflow and the New Zealand dollar rose against the yen, opening today at 84.7 yen. In China, they are working hard to revalue their currency and the yuan is now at a record high against the US dollar, but still fairly stable against the Kiwi. In the US, it is clear that the first quarter GDP growth will be about 3% annual rate, despite the budget and tax shocks their economy received. And maybe Q uh, second quarter will be slower, but jobless claims continue to fall in a near a five-year low. And finally, there are growing expectations that the next rate move in Australia will be down, and probably soon. The Kiwi dollar starts today significantly higher after the Anzac Day break at 85.2 US cents, 82.7 Aussie cents, and our TWI is at 78.8. I'm David Chaston, and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.